Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we have the Galaxy S5 here, and uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of how-tos and guides. Um, the phone is pretty much the same as uh, as uh, last year, as the, as the S4 and even the S3, as far as at least the UI goes. Um, of course, there's a lot of internals, and we'll be talking all that in our review. But one of the things, um, you know, Samsung always introduces new software, new tweaks, and uh, the fingerprint scanner. Um, is um, one of those, and I wanted to go over it with you, show you how you set it up. Um, I always, I always say you should always lock your device with a PIN, password, whatever, a pattern. Um, and uh, now there's uh, with the Galaxy S5, they've introduced uh, fingerprint scanning, so or finger scanner as they call it. So you want to, you want to swipe down from your notification panel and go in the settings by hitting the gear icon there. Now in the settings it's a little different than it was last year. There are uh, It's set up with these circular icons and there's different areas, network connections, connect and share. F uh, finger scanner is at the very in the very top section under quick settings so you go ahead and hit finger scanner and uh, right now I'm set to just um, this would be as your default if you you know just picking up the phone buying the phone for the first time and using it you're going to be set up with screen lock to be swipe you want to go with um, with one of the uh, finger either fingerprint pin password or whatever but of course we're here to talk about fingerprints so the first thing to do yo you have to set up with the fingerprint manager you have to actually set up uh, at least one of your fingers you can set up up to three so go ahead and go into there and uh, it's just a quick explanation we'll hit OK now this is where you'll scan your finger now it's actually uh, quite easy once you get used to it um, I don't know if I'd call this a hundred percent but it does work very well like I said once you get used to it the trick is you gotta keep your finger flat the whole way and you wanna go make sure you go over the home button but no, don't you don't need to press it kinda glide over it if you mit, if you don't then it's gonna tell you you know to scan the whole thing so there you go see I didn't swipe it says swipe over the center okay so it, it's gonna ask you to do it eight times and there's a second Once you get it, it really does work. Oh, I missed it there. There we go. Oh, I don't know why that one missed. That's right, because you got to keep my finger flat. So you can't lift your finger a little bit. You've just got to keep it flat. There you go. And that's really a secret. Sometimes you forget. Now, you have to also enter a password in case your fingerprint doesn't work or maybe, you know, somebody else picks up your phone like a spouse or something that doesn't have a finger recorded on here. Uh, there's always a password that you can do. So I'll just make something simple. Query 1 and um, continue. And then do it again. And so that is that. So that fingerprint has been registered. And you, you can set up up to three fingerprints. Right now what we'll do is we'll actually just go to the home there and test it. So now um, when I turn on the device, um, oops, got to also set it to fingerprint scanner. Forgot to do that. Oops. So... Let's go back in. My bad. Here we go. Screen lock. So now we're going to choose fingerprint. Forgot to do that. <laughs> okay. So now the um, it's in place now. And so now and there it is. And I can go to the alternate password if I want to quickly. Um, but now, so if I go like this. It's re it says recognize and it's open. So now let's go over to the settings again and go into the fingerprint scanner. Let's add a couple, add another finger here. Now when you do this, you've got to prove the one that was in existence so you can go in and make changes, obviously. That's a good security measure. So uh, you can actually go in and deregister any. Uh, well, I'll show you that in a second. But let's add, a, let's add the thumb this time. Um, and we'll do that here. See if I can get all these right. <laughs> There's four. 
So yeah, if you, as long as you keep your finger flat and glide all the way through past the home button, you'll get it. And there I got them all right. And there's fingerprint too. The other thing I'd recommend is maybe doing something from your uh, left hand in case you pick up your phone awkwardly. You got something in your hand. You can get your um, left uh, hand going. And I'll do um, my thumb on this one actually. Missed that one. Not used to doing it with my left finger, so it's a matter of keeping it flat. Missed it. I didn't keep it flat that time. You got to keep it just completely laid down. And once you get that through your head to do that, you'll be good to go, and this will work 95 to to 99 percent of the time. So there's all three fingerprints. I could use any one of them to open the device or unlock the device. So now we'll use the thumb, and there you go. Now the other thing you can do is you can do it on different angles. Um, it does work, although not necessarily. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to come in at a different angle here. The thing is, you got to keep it flat, though. It's it, it, you tend to want to go like this, but it's really if you keep it flat. Try it again. Eh. And that there actually has a failure there. And that's exactly what happens. I think it's five tries. So let's just try that one more time. There you go. So it will work on the different angles. So if you're picking up your phone. Uh, with one hand and you're trying to do it but it's, it's that's the one problem with this scanner is I like the implementation of apples much better uh, because you just touch it with this one you have to actually move your finger and so if you, you know you pull out your phone in your pocket and it, it's an awkward position it's not going to be easy to do it can be done but it's it just there you go I got that one to recognize but it's a lot easier if you're doing it with two hands so I come in, with, hold it with the one, and, I, and I'm able to keep my thumb flat. Of course, practice makes perfect. I've only had the device, you know, a few days. Um, so over time, I guess it could get easier to do, just like as we've been able to use the phone now more and more. Oops, use the phone more and more with one-handed operations as we get used to things. So, but that's the fingerprint scanner. Now, let me just quickly show you. Go back in. If you want to delist any of them, go in here to the manager. Uh, of course, you have to, and I'll use this finger this time. Um, you go in and you can hit the menu here and say deregister, and you can take off whatever you want. Tap them and hit delete. So we'll, we'll actually take off the left finger now, the left thumb. We'll go ahead and delete that so that won't work now. And I can always go back and add another finger or whatever after. And of course, the screen locks, you can always change that or remove that if you ever need to or whatever. So, and of course, um, we'll be showing you and doing another video here. You can uh, pay with PayPal and uh, verify your Samsung account with the fingerprint uh, scanner as well. So, that is it. I hope this uh, helps you set up your uh, fingerprint uh, or finger scanner, as I like to call it. I keep saying fingerprint, but whatever. As long as um, it works and it does work well, then uh, that's all it's, that matters. So, um, I hope this helps you to uh, secure your phone better and uh, give it a shot. That's the finger scanner on the Galaxy S5. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.